there's literally a constant, very, very, a constant, very loud electro beeping coming from the ceiling above my head. Every every evening I'm being tortured in this disgusting country I'm stuck in. This vile, disgusting country. I've hacked my ID, IT all day, and now I've got this constant electro beeping coming through the ceiling upstairs. You come to this country, find me at my flat here, and take it to the United States of America, and I'll never be in this country again, okay? Do it today. Look at these dumb ass, these dumb ass little piece of crap. So they put another person with that. Oh, you're going to hide there. You're going to terrorise me. You're going to bloody hide there, you piece of crap. Is that what you're going to do? Come and show yourselves. Instead of bloody hiding, show yourselves. Instead of terrorising me in hiding, show yourselves. Be men instead of these wimpy piece of crap that you are. Don't hide from me. Show yourselves. Terrorise me and hide from me. Show yourselves. Don't terrorise me and hide there. Piece of crap. You there? I can see you. Peekaboo. Timothy Byrne. You may know him, you may have seen his face throughout memes, but who really is he? For a few years now, I've been watching Timothy Byrne's life unfold. I first came across the man while watching gang stalking videos. If you're not aware of what gang stalking is, I'll try summing it up for you because we're going to be discussing it quite often in the video. There are plenty of videos if you want to understand what gang stalking is more in depth, so to keep it from getting off track, here's a good definition for what exactly it is. Gang stalking is simply a form of community mobbing and organized stalking combined. Just like you have workplace mobbing and online mobbing, which are both fully recognized as legitimate, this is the community form. Okay, now let's get back to Timothy. I will not be giving out any personal info about him, everything I'm going to address is completely public information. Timothy is an aspiring musician from England whose social media presence is primarily on YouTube, Twitter, and has had a Facebook account but it may have been deleted, but I do remember him posting on there quite frequently. Now there's a Facebook like page called Timothy Burn with over 5800 likes. We'll be going back to that in a bit though. On his YouTube channel, he's posted a whopping 18,840 videos. That's all him. I can assure that's no bot doing this and you'll see why that's the case. His channel was made July 7th, 2009. His first video was posted that same day. The video is titled, Me Skiing, which like the title says, it's of him simply enough, skiing. He continues to post videos to this day, but before we go to those, let's take a little more of an in-depth look at his roots. In the early days, Timothy would tend to post almost always piano covers, and he would post a lot. And I mean a lot. Eventually, he would then switch to uploading him covering various songs, which doesn't seem too strange, despite the insane amount being uploaded. When I find myself in times of trouble, oh Mother Mary comes to me. Speaking words of wisdom, let it be. And in my hour of darkness, she is standing right in front of me. But I noticed something. He only covers a handful of songs and has at least a hundred covers to the few songs that he would sing. You could consider him just practicing these songs, but his style can give you a bit of an eerie feeling, which I'm sure I'm not the only one who gets that feeling. The years would go by and Timothy would upload his usual videos, but that was until one day where we would get to see a different side of Timothy. And this is where it starts to get really interesting. Here's one of the earliest types of these videos, and where shit really starts going downhill. The video is titled, Putting Me Out of My Flat. June 24th, 2016. Okay, Timothy James Byrne here, flat sprung house, Marlon Rosie flat on the uh, 24th of June 2016. I've just had this through from this estate agent, telling me that I've got to get out of here by the, uh, where is it? 31st of August, they're telling me I've got to get out Tell me now, I've got to get out of this flat. They've just sprung this on me today. I've got to get out of this flat by the 31st of August 2016, okay? They decided 
The easiest thing, after they've been beaten by me in this thing, is now just to do this, because they, they've been beaten by me, okay? So we have Timothy discussing some serious personal life news, how he's getting evicted from his apartment. He's clearly distressed, but what you notice from Timothy is that he seems a bit off when he speaks. He's speaking fast, it's quite hard to make out what he's saying a lot of the time. Please they uh, shut them down and take the money off them. I may be going a bit road today. What, what am I going to do when these uh, thugs are terrorizing like this? Shut them down, take the money. And turn the long-term effect of them terrorizing like this. Delivery terrorism like this. Take them to effect and take into account and take their money off them. Shut them down. And is totally fixated and focused on his own world and discusses about his dentist even at one point where he clearly is trying to say that his dentist seems to be stalking and harassing him. Bear in mind that I just had, the, the, I just filmed this video with the dentist messing around so obviously. Now I've just got this letter, okay? Okay, I've shown you, I've shown you where this guy, he's still doing business, I've shown you where he's been behaving towards me lately. Now all of a sudden I get this letter, okay? Does so that, uh, does that, supposed to now goes away from him, does it? Like I said in the beginning, his case is very similar to people believing they're being gang stalked. And this is essentially just another gang stalking case. The dentist won't be the only one he suspects is stalking, harassing, and basically interfering with his everyday life. Which makes you feel some pity for a guy who's clearly struggling with some serious mental issues. I'm gonna show a couple clips and date them so you can see how his mental state really begins to take a turn for the worst. After the clips, I'm going to talk about some notable parts of these videos and some key things that I feel I should point out. There's a thing who's active on break down there. Smoking. Should we go and find him? Let's go and find him. We're still going to find him. Let's go and find him out of interest, shall we? Keys on me. Go away. Oh, there we are. Oh, you're from the Sainsbury's, aren't you? You're from the Sainsbury's, aren't you? You're from the Sainsbury's, aren't you? You're from Sainsbury's, right? You're from Sainsbury's, aren't you? Stay there. There you go. Where's the point now? No problem. You're from Sainsbury's. You're from Sainsbury's. You are from Sainsbury's. You're from Sainsbury's. I've seen you before. You're from Sainsbury's. I've seen you before. From Sainsbury's, I've seen you before. What's the problem? What's the problem? You're from Sainsbury's, aren't you? I've gone, out, I've gone outside. Okay, I've gone outside. Oh, it's flipped to the other part. It's flipped to where I was before. I have to, the two are linked, aren't they? Okay, so I have to find the right point in the video now. I don't from there. There's DHL then. There's afternoon park right across his pillars where you can yeah, about 50 a part. Actually, uh, there, just there. Who's coming the dentist, stop, stop away, it there. Like the dentist, the dentist's driving past. The dentist's now driving past. It's the dentist's driving past. That's the dentist's driving past. I know it's him because it's his car and I saw his face in the car. Okay? He's driving past right when I'm saying that outside the door in the video. How did he know? He came, in the video, you can see he came from the end of the street. He came from the, from the street where Marks and Spencer is and turned into this street. He, was rubbing, he, he went past doing this. He, dro he was driving his car past. He went doing that as he was driving past, okay? He came from the street where you can't even see my, you can't see my front door. The street he came from, there's cars going on. You can't even see my front door. Yeah, he came around the corner at that point. How did he know to do that? I need this question answering, okay? But Chucky Bear is confused as anything, aren't you? Hmm, she's rubbing her chin as well. She's confused also. You're rolling. Right, there's a camera. There's a camera rolling. Timo, how you doing, pal? Timo. Well, I'll tell you what, you got the swiper. What are you watching? Grip plus weight, grab plus weight. Teams, I, get, I can get a complex about my piano playing. I, my piano playing seems to be... I don't understand why. I'm just some guy who plays the piano like everybody else. My piano playing is so attacked. I don't understand why. I had, I had a visit from my neighbour from this side, from through here. She was bringing around some curry for me. And I don't eat curry, so I said, no thanks. I don't want curry, thanks so much. And uh, I'd eaten anyway. And she was uh, talking about... Can I play the piano with a damper on all the time and stuff like that? And, but, I mean, uh, we'd had a compromise where I could play the piano you know, in the daytime, but she's asking me to play it with a damper. My piano player, I can't, pra how can I practice playing my piano playing if I'm getting these constant things like whirring away from here? 
But I get this real complex about, about my piano playing being so attacked. And it just, it's starting to piss me off because I, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to. <laughs> she also, she wanted to give me, she had some curry for me and when it came around after I'd done my video, I wanted to, she had some curry for me. I wanted to give me guitar, guitar lessons as well. So I said, well, I, think if I want guitar lessons. I'll go to a, you know, it's this stage because people are behaving so strangely to me around here. If I want guitar lessons, I'll go to a proper guitar teacher. But for now, thanks, love. But I mean, I'm at the point where I say, <laughs> I'll refuse your hospitality because really people are just behaving too strangely. They're, they're constantly attacking my piano playing and things like that. And uh, I had people like, well, I was trying to make a piano video today, I had vans parking out here, I was trying to make a piano, piano video. So I'm just saying something, I thought that was a bit weird tonight, after a moment. So Teddy, you ponder on that. One of Timothy's earliest videos of odd behavior that you saw was actually lost for quite some time. Until the full thing was uploaded in March of 2019, you could only find bits and pieces of it on the internet. I'm not sure if this was deleted by Timothy himself, or if there was more to why it was taken down. In the video, Timothy is seen recording a Sainsbury supermarket employee from his kitchen, which is a supermarket chain in the UK. He then runs outside struggling, trying to catch the supposed Sainsbury employee, constantly repeating, you're from Sainsbury's, aren't you? Oh, you're from Sainsbury's, aren't you? You're from Sainsbury's, aren't you? You're from Sainsbury's, aren't you? You're from Sainsbury's, right? You're from Sainsbury's, aren't you? He constantly repeats that. The person re-uploading this states, in his haste to confront the worker, his trousers become loose, impeding his movement. After the long chase, he eventually catches up to him, but only seems to repeat himself. Taking no kind of action whatsoever, even though this whole thing seemed to be building up to some big confrontation, he just walks away and goes back in his house. Now here's where you're gonna hear more about the whole dentist fiasco. You'll notice in his videos during a period of time he'd bring up his dentist and indicate that his dentist is also participating in this gang stalking like behavior, which seems to affect him because it prevents him from making videos of his musical skills. From what I can understand he states that his dentist drove past him while recording a video and claims the timing is too strange and that when the dentist drove past, his dentist was scratching his chin in the car like this. I'm not sure what that seems to mean, but Timothy sees it as no good. After that, he shows us his collection of stuffed animals. I'm sure there's a lot more that I missed, but from what I've gathered, their names are Timus, Clutchy Bear, Chucky Bear, and Teddy. The one he favors the most seems to be Temus, as he is seen most often with it, in my opinion. Seems kind of odd, but you know, uh, sometimes a guy just needs a teddy bear. Timothy isn't a fan of neighbors. If you're his neighbor, know you're on thin fucking ice. If he leaves his door wide open and you happen to walk by and concerned by his strange behavior, you're the enemy. He'll drill it in your head that he's putting you out of business, even though I'm not really sure what that means. Hello. Hey, okay. You need help. Tim, you need help. Are you out of business, I'm trying to do something. Sorry? Are you out of business is what I need. Sorry, I get to you. Hey, do you have a business? I have a business. Oh, I need you out of business. Oh, I need you out of your business? Yes. Well, I am, but uh, you seem to be so angry and standing rules. So yeah, I need you out of business, Sunshine. Sorry, Mess yeah. me around. For messing me around, I need you out of business, Sunshine. Sorry, I'm getting to you. 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 Sorry, i am I need you've been messing around for so long. I need you out, but you think you're playing these clever games with me. I need you out of business, sunshine. You understand me? Oh, I need you out of my business. I need you. I need you out, put out of business, okay, sunshine? For messing me around, for coming here and messing me around all the time. Why should I mess around with you, bro? You are messing around. You know you're messing around. I know you're messing around. You know you're messing me around, okay? I'm not messing around with anything for you. Yes, you are. No, I'm yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're messing me around, I know you're messing around, I want you out of business, okay, you understand me? I want you out, put out of business, okay? Yes. 
Sorry? I don't care what's fair. I want you out of your business. I want you put out of business. I don't care what you think is fair. I don't care. I don't care about your point of view or you. I want you out of business, okay? You're messing me around. Yes, you are. Timothy as of present day seems to really discuss how a group of builders at a construction site next door constantly harass him. You're going to be hearing it a lot. Oh god, I can't believe they're doing this. They're, uh, they're running this building. Here are these vile non-human beings running this building site right next to where I am here. I want to be a nice citizen away from this country. I'm abusing this country. My human rights are abusing this country. I want to be a nice citizen with a pathetic vile country. So once again, Again, that these valve thugs are running this building site right now. They're running these enormous construction machines right up. This is where I sing. This is where I do my singing, playing guitar videos. They're running a construction site. Right, this is where I'm. This is where I sing and do my guitar videos. This is these thugs here playing on me, and these vile thugs in this country I'm stuck in playing on me like this, okay? I'm being hacked on my PC. So that's an example of how I'm being hidden in this country. I'm being hidden in every day in this country. The date check for you, it is the. 28th of February, 28th of 2nd, 2019. That's very, very clear on that. Get me a United States citizen. Get me away from these vile, disgusting thugs. These pathetic thugs are running right outside. This is where I want to I want to sing it and play the guitar here today. These vile, disgusting, non-human being thugs are, are doing this outside my door. I want to be a United States citizen away from this. Get me. Come to this country and rescue me. It's been four years since these antics started. Have they become worse? Unfortunately, yes. He has seemed to only fall further into his delusion. Something very unusual that Timothy does is he tends to give out his address to extensive lengths. He states his address in just about every single one of his social media posts. Enough to where trolls would do things such as the usual flooding his house with pizza deliveries. I've just had a Papa John's pizza delivery guy trying to, order, trying to deliver me, me a pizza here in my flat here, which I did not order. Uh, the date is, you want to, I'll show you, why, the reason I didn't order the pizza is because I'm actually cooking my lunch. This is me cooking my lunch. Okay. Why would I, why would I order, why would I order a pizza when I'm in the middle of cooking my lunch? I wouldn't order a pizza when I'm in the middle of cooking my lunch. You know what, I think somebody might be messing around with the pizza, messing me around with the pizzas, do you? Teddy. Teddy knows these things, do you think so? I think so, girl. I think so, girl. It has gotten so bad that he's getting checkups by law enforcement due to continuously posting his address online, which appears to be some apartment complex, so they come to tell him that people are tired of him attracting all this unwanted attention and potentially putting himself and others in danger. Excuse me, someone's just knocking on my door. Someone's interrupting me. Someone's interrupting me at this point. Someone's deliberately interrupting me. Just because we've been made aware by some uh, members of the public, they're a bit worried about you because they've seen um, the things that you've been putting on Twitter and that you've, you've put your address on there. Um, Stop doing this on me. I don't want to speak to you about this, okay? Wait, we I'm allowed to put myself on Twitter if I want to. People are, I mean, I'm being harassed in this place. I'm being harassed by this building site in North Gates You said this before. I'm not prepared to speak to this, okay? okay. We're, we're here because we're concerned because I know you can post stuff on Twitter. You're completely within your rights. You're interrupting my making video. You're interrupting my making video. Okay, now. I'm sorry. We won't be long if you let us talk to you. Um, we're concerned, obviously you can go on Twitter, but the fact that you're posting your address on there and you're attracting unwanted visitors, and we're just a bit concerned for you in that aspect. We, we, don't, we just don't want people finding out who you are, where you live, and taking advantage of you. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, I'm being harassed the ends of the earth by these builders here, okay? Every day, okay. I'm not happy with the situation or something, okay? Okay. I'm trying to make aware that I'm being harassed by these builders every day of my life in this what? global place or something. You, you, you be here when I'm doing this, when these people are harassing me, okay? You don't understand what's going on. You know you're interrupting my video to harass me again. Please leave me alone. Please go away. Please leave me alone. I've, spe I've spoken to you about this. I want to put myself... I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with what I'm doing on Twitter. Please leave me alone, okay? Okay, but do you understand the concerns that Yes, I do, have? but I'm, 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 I'm concerned I'm being harassed by these people over there, okay? What are they doing? They're running bills that are right next to me every day. I, I paid my years rent in advance, now they're running bills that are right next to where I'm doing my videos that I'm making here. You, you know what's going on, you're just playing against um, not me. What are they doing that's bothering you? For God's sake, they're running bills that are outside the door and doing my videos, and I'm trying to make my videos, okay? So is it the noise that they're doing? Yes, the noise they're doing deliberately just going around. 
Okay, um, well, what advice I can give you to do with noise is obviously th if it is building site. No, no, do it. I'm staying in this place. You, what you got to, I need them shutting down as well. I can't be living in this stupid place with a street like this all day. We're not, we're not I'm not shouting, I'm telling you what's going on. Please leave me alone. Would you? I'm, I've said what, I said my case here. If you get to keep running that building site, so I'm keeping running, making these videos and posting what I'm doing, okay? So we're unaware of the building site. Yeah, well, if you're gonna keep, if that's gonna keep running that speed, I'm gonna keep making myself aware that I'm stuck in this place where people are harassing me all day long. Okay? Are you should sort of the fact that people are harassing me all day long. These people here, not me. These are the people that are the problem, not me. Okay? Are you privately renting? Yes. Okay. Um. Yeah, I was just gonna suggest if you're not happy, then maybe looking at alternative. I don't want to be forced out here because they're running bills on this. This is wrong. I should be in the situation. My pair to get rear end events. They're running bills next to me. This is wrong. I should be put in this situation. Okay? Right. I'm being persecuted you, in this horrible place. I'm stuck in. Do you have any support? I don't need any support. What I need is these, these lots shutting down so I'm not stuck in this double place and I'm being harassed every day, okay? Are That's you, what I need. Okay. Are you, are you happy? You're not helping. You're not helping. All you're saying, are you trying to put something? Instead of helping, you're trying to put something. You shut them down get, and, and, and they'll be happy, right? I'm not saying, no, I'm not saying you're doing anything wrong. Um, I'm just saying... We, please, please leave me alone. I want to make my video now. Okay. You're already really. I want to make my video. Can you please leave me alone? Okay, we just need to check that everything's okay. I'm fine. You're, you're safe and, and well. And, and I'm not safe because then they're harassing me. Is that the only problem? Yes. Okay. Have you got any family in the, in the area? Not in the area. Timothy truly doesn't see what he does as dangerous to himself or others. No matter what you say, he will express how loud his neighbors are and how he believes they're harassing him. That still doesn't answer why he's giving out his address, but I think I've pieced it together and this video he made perfectly explains his reasoning. These vile, disgusting turds are kind of literally terrorizing all day by running bills in next to me on trying to make videos, and then they're hacking my piano videos so I can't make the videos. I ask you to please come to this horrible country, rest your knees and let's day. I can't be stuck in a situation where I'm, I'm really under threat. My life is under threat. And these bastards playing with like this. They're, they're stopping me in this house and suppressing me by. I can't now film my piano videos today because they're hacking my my PC. Okay. Um, I would show you what's on television. They're, they're running these. They make they, uh, they make the most god awful. They understand in this country they make the most god awful dweeby Abbott, the most dweeby an example of this dweeby Abbott's they make. I'm watching, I'm watching Starshine Hutch at the moment. I'm watching this uh, Starshine Hutch show, show after show going on. And now no satellite. You see, that then again, that I, I can't, I, I don't get satellite signal. They're probably jamming that as well, so I can't get it. His reasoning for posting his address to very extensive lengths is because he wants someone from America to see one of his posts or videos, buy a plane ticket to England, head on over to his address, and rescue him to America where he can make his singing and piano videos in peace. Which, yes, is a completely unrealistic benefit to posting your address online. His behavior has attracted a little cult following. Often on platforms like Facebook, 4chan, and Reddit using his ominous photos for memes and discussions on his latest antics, the best example is this Timothy Byrne Facebook page that isn't the real Timothy. It's simply a fan meme page that has found some success due to the strange nature within Timothy's photos that often show his big smile or blank expression that tend to work great for shitposting content. His face tends to be covered in sweat for unknown reasons, most likely due to maybe a medical condition or just always being stressed out, and it always seems to capture your eye when you first see them. Okay. Here's what I've personally come up with. Timothy is a man who's an aspiring musician and actor, but cannot seem to reach these goals due to his mental illness, being consumed by paranoia and delusional thoughts that everyone around him is conspiring to stop him from reaching these goals by organized harassment. It's unknown what seems to really have caused him to fall down this path in life, but we can only hope that himself or his family takes some sort of action to get him the help he needs before he hurts himself or others. I can't imagine posting your address online will turn out well.